today on Divorce Court. My wife is insecure because she feel like I'm not giving her the attention to feel better about herself. In her mind, I am living a double life. My double life is me doing my job, getting my bread to make sure me and my kids are well taken care of. He's a very good manipulator. I can't believe anything comes out of his mouth. I want the judge to tell Natasha she needs to take care of her responsibilities, co-parent for our kids, and then maybe, you know, see what happened on down the road. 12 years, four kids later, we buying a house, and then he's gonna sit there and leave me for another woman. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Natasha Garris and Carlton Garris. Mr. and Mrs. Garris, you have been together for 13 years, married for 10 years, but you do not want to be married anymore. You also have four children together. Mrs. Garris, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why you're here in divorce court today? Yes, ma'am. I'm here today because I want to divorce my husband, Carlton Garris. He's nothing but a liar and a cheater. Um, has been for 13 years. The whole time we've the been together. The whole time? The whole time it's we've been true. together. Um, tell, me, tell me a little bit about that. Well, he always slept with his phone and his keys in his pocket, which was always a, you know, what are you doing? What are you doing that for? Why, you know, you can't just lay it out? And let me see it. Um, I had found a telephone number that was constantly on his call log. So when I finally call it and a female answers the phone, I'm like, well, you know, why are you messing with my man? And she hangs up. She, does, she has nothing to say. So he goes to jail. About a month later, he goes mm -hmm. to jail. And so I get this cell phone that he's, you know, been hiding from me now. And I read a text message that says, I love you, baby. And then after he comes home, my daughter's two weeks old now. After he comes home, a mutual friend of ours tells me that he went out with Carlton, and Carlton showed him a positive pregnancy test from this female that I had accused him of before, and he denied it. Mr. Garris, do you care to uh, <laughs> tell me your version of those events? <laughs> um, Judge, you You're right. not looking good already, Mr. Garris. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. You, you're leading weak, but go ahead. Some of that's true, some of it ain't true. You know, it's always two sides to every story, and of course, you got her side. Now you know? I'm asking for yours. Now my side of the story is some of it is true. And I did sleep with my keys and my phone in my pocket because this, she is very sneaky. Mm -hmm. And when I say sneaky, she is very sneaky. She is good at hiding stuff. So I had, to, I had to keep my belongings on me because she was always going through my stuff. So my thing is, when you going through my stuff, what are you, you doing? Do. Right. You know, I had reasons to suspect you. Well, nah. you, you. Did you ever catch her doing something? Do you think oh, she was I call doing something wrong? I caught plenty of stuff, Your Honor. I mean, I can go and... This is a long Just tell month. me one. I mean, all right, I'm going to tell you what I seen. So I'm going through a phone, right? And I noticed it was a number on there quite a few times, right? So I act like I was her, and I text the number. You know, so I'm talking to this dude. Come to find out, it's her ex-boyfriend. Yeah, the one when we first got together, at, she at the movies with. You were at the movies with the ex while you're married to your man? No, we weren't yeah. married. Just we, was, we just had started dating. That yeah. was a red we flag just, for me right We just now. started talking. That's a rough transition. Yes, that's we not, just that started talking. They had talking. been split up for a long time, Your Honor. Okay. We had, I, I moved in with her. I got you. I got you, Mr. Mrs. Garris. Why don't you tell me some more about his double life? Okay. So he was working at this restaurant job, and I worked 12 hours, third shift. So when I would go to work, he was having females come to the house. And my daughter told me, my oldest daughter told me, she said, Mama, she said, she said, a woman come into the house, and Daddy kept coming and shutting my door to make sure I was asleep. But she said, but I saw her. And she was a black girl with dreads. I said, oh, really? OK. So uh, I asked Mr. Carlton, well, who is this and why is she at my house so late at night? Eight, nine o'clock in the evening? True. Oh, it's a Jehovah Witness. <laughs> now, Mr. Garrett? That is not true, y'all. That is not were, true. Were, were you talking about religion and trying to find the Lord? <laughs> I'm a well, religious your wife was man, y'all. I'm a religious <laughs> man, you know, but that, that's not true, y'all. Ain't so there was no random woman at your house that your, your child saw? 
First of all, Your Honor, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you, and I don't want you to take this the wrong way in any means or any kind. Now but I'm, I've never. Now I'm just scared. <laughs> <laughs> Every since I've been in a dating world or been with anybody, I've never dated a black female. So that right there just doesn't make any sense. That doesn't even make no sense. That okay. doesn't even make no sense. He says she doesn't like black women, so that. I didn't right. say that. No, 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 I didn't no, no, say no. that. He I didn't say no. that. He That's not no what I said. That is not what I said. That is say not it again what I said. so I get it right. I say said so I, right. that I have not dated one. I didn't say that I would, and I just never came across exactly. the right opportunity. So that, that's different. It's different. So you could date a black woman, so there's a possibility that a black woman could have been If I exactly. found one that was attractive exactly. and uh, that can hold my... That she was, was my... You, know, you just don't find us attractive. And see, oh. I'm just going to shut up while I'm ahead. I'm just messing with you, I'm just messing with you. I'm just playing over here. Because I, I can see how much trouble you were in. I just, I My just mama black, with so you. I can't yeah, go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you did. Yeah. But you did. Um, tell me another incident of his cheating. OK, so he finally gets a good job after 10 years. He finally gets an amazing job where he can be the breadwinner and, you know, I can kind of chill and relax a little bit. So I'm on Facebook and this girl messages me and says, I've been dating your man for the past few months and we've been messing around and everything else. So I go to him about it. Of course, he denies it like he always has. So I asked the lady for some proof. Send me a screenshot of, you know, pictures of y'all together or text messages. And that's what she did. Oh, and he still God. denied it. <laughs> still. Mr. Garris, it wasn't you? Hey, hey yep. that was Shaggy said. It. it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. Is that the, I was just kidding, no. but is that the best you got? <laughs> no, I mean... I'm not, that particular incident she talking about, Your Honor, I have no recollection of yeah. that. So right. I can't say that part, right. that, you know, this, that's her story. She's mm -hmm. sticking to so, it. So, Mr. Garris, let me just ask you the question outright. Have you ever cheated on your wife? Yes, I have. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we just didn't pick the right incident. You didn't pick the right so, incident. So, so, so when, okay, so now, now that I've gotten that cleared up, and I thank you, I appreciate it, your honesty. Hey, that's now we've got that cleared up, first time he's let's been... figure out when you cheated on her and with whom and why. He comes home, mm. well, we watching TV, and here comes a text message streaming across the top, talking about, I love you, baby, you okay? Wow. And I said, Mr. Garris, did that happen? So, Mr. Garris, we've established that you cheated, but yes, it's just not the incidents that she's claiming. So, why don't you tell me when you cheated and with whom and why? Where we was living at, we stayed in, in a place that really wasn't ideal for somebody who just got married to stay in. And I was running with the wrong crowd. Right. So, with the wrong crowd comes the wrong attention. Right. So, what I was doing was it drawing the wrong attention, uh -huh. okay? So, that with that too. being said, there was rumors going around about me that was not true, right. okay? So, therefore, with those rumors going around, she decided to go out, okay? So, when I found that out, that gave me print. I'm like, I'm sitting here looking like Boo Boo the Fool. Why, I'm not doing nothing. You believe in what your friend's telling you because they trying to talk to me. So, she did what she did. So, I did what I did, and I kept it going. So, you revenge cheated on a revenge cheat on a rumor. There you go. Did you cheat on her just the once as a revenge cheat, or was this a constant, ongoing state of affairs? Your Honor, constant. this was a domino effect on both parts. On both no. parts. We both guilty of the same, of the same okay. crime. Oh, Ms. Garris, do you have any specifics for me about him cheating? Okay, I can give you the latest one. The reason why we're separated. Fourth of July, he told me he had to go to work. His mother called and told me he didn't have to go to work. So, me being the, the private eye I am, I go to try and I go to his job. Nobody's in the parking lot. So, I call him. Where you at? What you doing? I said, you can stay with the one that you with because I don't want you back because I'm tired of you cheating. Object. So, he says, no, I'm at work. <laughs> so, 20 minutes later, he comes home. 
So we arguing whatever, and you know, he flies off the deep end, so he leaves again. And um, he comes home, we chill out for the kids, you know, try to have a good, you know, 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Well, we watching TV, and here comes a text message streaming across the top, talking about, I love you, baby, you okay? Wow. And I, Mr. Garris, did that happen? <laughs> All right. So she said I was with the girl, which I wasn't. I was really at work at that time. No, so therefore, yeah, I did not go to the girl house. So she, when, we, when I'm at home, she decides to text me and ask me if I'm OK. So ding, ding in your head, that should tell you I didn't go. I'm at home. But where's the I love you part? I don't know why. I don't know why yeah, she said that, Your Honor. I can't tell you why she yes, said that. Yes, you don't know why. I can't you? tell you why she said that. Yeah, you don't know I want to talk about you think, uh, you think your wife is just insecure. Oh, she's very insecure. Hey, and you, and she's insecure. very insecure. And, and you say that finances is killing your marriage. So we're going to get to that part, and then we're going to get to the end. Went through his phone while he's asleep. Like, I'm, a pro, I'm, I'm a PI, I'm telling you. And I saw the websites that he was going to. He was paying escorts. Holy moly, so, Mr. Garris, were you paying the escorts for, for services? Would you believe your friends if they told you that your spouse was cheating? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce court will be right back. Mrs. Garris, at the end of the day, you really believe your husband used you for your money. Why do you believe that? I do, because from the beginning, I always held the job. I always got paid more. I always paid the bills Why he just did whatever he wanted to with his money. Um, Tell me what happened with the house. OK, uh, we had a four-bedroom house that we lived in, and he wasn't paying the payments. So we got evicted. So we had to go live with my family members. Um, after that, you know, I mean, I've had a car. We would go get a title loan on it so we can go to the beach and enjoy ourselves. He says, oh, well, don't worry about paying it back. You don't have to do that. They're not going to do anything. Well, they come repossess my car. And then he was paying escorts for oral sex. Yes, ma'am. I found his phone. I went through his phone while he's asleep. Like, I'm, a pro I'm, I'm a PI, I'm telling you. And I saw the websites that he was going to. I saw text messages of, you know, $20 for this, $60 for, you know, whatever. Holy moly, so, Mr. Garris, were you paying the escorts? For, for services? That ain't even true, Your Honor, because I'm going to tell you where all that stemmed from, because it was trying to catch her. I'm going to tell you what I did. I went through her phone while she was sleeping, and she was sending naked pictures on Craigslist. Talking to some stranger, and she sent a naked pic She was sending naked it was pictures. was not Craigslist. <laughs> My <point. laughs> hey. One thing to make a point of. <laughs> I sent it to one person. <laughs> That's I funny. done had it with him. I That's done a had lie. it. Our sex life was, was out the door. You were giving it to everybody else. Why would I want it? Hey, Mr. Garrett, Mr. Garrett. I was trying to get it from him. <laughs> Plenty of times I come home trying to get it. You know, and he, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I'm sleepy. Oh, I don't feel good. So. Did you lose interest? In yes, your wife did. romantically? After everything that went down, after, after, after everything was said and done, yes, ma'am, I did. Really? Because you him. thought she was cheating? Because... She was. Her and her best friend up in the house with a dude giving him a massage. All right, while I'm at work. No, while I, you... While Hang I'm on. at work, okay? So I asked her about it. Oh, we ain't doing nothing, we ain't doing nothing. So I asked the best friend. Best friend break down and tell me everything. All right, that's the first one. Second one, all right? I come, I got my kids, right? So they, my son ain't had no milk, no diapers, no pamphlets, no, no nothing. nothing. So I'm calling her. She ain't answering the phone. I'm texting really? her. She ain't answering the phone. So she finally texted me back. I said, well, why don't you just meet me at the grocery store so I can get some stuff for my kids? We All were right? separated. So I get out of my bed, go over to the house, pull up. I'm looking in the driveway at the house I'm paying all the bills at. 
and not living there, the I pull up in the driveway in the grass, music bumping, so she know I'm there. Still don't hear me. Get out, put my kid in the door. She run to the door like she's surprised, like an Annabelle doll. You know what I'm saying? She and surprised. And you know what happened, too. Look at her. She's surprised, her. right? I what you surprised. doing here? You ain't answering my taxes. My kids ain't got nothing. So she won't let me in the house. So me being who I am, I open the door. Boom. I see the predator sitting on the couch. <laughs> OK? So, some, some ugly thing sitting on the couch, right? We're not so, going to talk about your woman. That's why we're she, not going to talk about your woman. I got you. I got you. I got you. I, 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 I'm oh, so I can scared. keep going. I, don't I got, know I got you stories do. for days. Well, who was Sabrina and why is she a problem? That's his thing. That's, that's his girlfriend. That's his new fiance. Is Sabrina that's his new mistress woman? that he was with while I was pregnant. After I gave birth to our son, after we just bought a house that he left me for. And, and let me tell you something. I want to tell you about what he just told you. We were separated. He was living with Sabrina, and he comes to my house ain't because your house. he has the kids. Ain't your house. Okay. But so, so you were living with another woman when you yes, claimed she was sitting on yes, the couch with the predator? Yes. At my house yes, that I'm paying the bills yes, at. Don't need one of them on there, but I, I let it. her keep I the house because of the kids. Listen, I, I'm going to release all of us from this pain. <laughs> <laughs> Find out what this $600 is for and find out if you need it. What would you do if you discovered your spouse had paid an escort for services? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Mrs. Garris, you want $600 from Mr. Garris. Why don't you tell me what you want it for and why? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the $600, we had went and bought some uh, furniture, TV, mm -hmm. and a home th stereo system um, from a place for our new house because, our, you know, we wanted mm -hmm. to get new furniture. So he agreed that he would pay the payments if I would get him this stereo. So I put it on with my stuff as well. He agreed to pay the whole payment. But as soon as he left the house, he made two payments and that's it. Ms. I asked him for it back. Mr. Garris, can you tell me your version of that? She lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why, Your Honor. This is what she did. She got mad at me took everything, boxed it back up, and said, I'm taking it back to the store, okay? So I told her, you know what? Take your little funky stuff back to the store. I don't care, <laughs> right? So she tried to take it back to the store. They wouldn't take it back because they were going to charge her to, re to reshelf the exactly. stuff. Exactly. Okay? So she brought it back home. So therefore, it's your stuff. But he took it when he left. <laughs> if it was mine, he shouldn't have took it. You, uh, uh, hey, 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 hey. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what happened here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure who did who dirtier, when, why, and who started, who stopped, who revenge, where the rule. Don't have any idea. Don't have any clues. I don't know what he agreed to, what he didn't agree to. I don't know who's got it. I don't know where you put it. All I know is this. You not getting any money. I'm glad you two are getting a divorce. <laughs> And the white women can have you. It's <laughs> matter of the <laughs> Carlton did say that I was cheating. I have cheated one time throughout the whole marriage. It was a one night stand. Never have I cheated on this man other than that. And that was six years after he's done did me dirty. I really don't have no regrets about all the years we spent together. I just wish that we could have figured out a way where things could have been a little different and went down a little different and, you know, tried to get along a little better. 